Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today, I'm gonna to be taking off the mill scale on this quarter inch plate. My goal here is to be able to remove the mill scale, bring this down to virgin steel, and have a very smooth, uniform finish across this plate. Now, first of all, what is mill scale? Well, mill scale is the iron oxide that forms during the fabrication process of this steel. So as it goes through the rollers and the mill, and the heating and cooling process forms this hard iron coating, or iron oxide coating, that is very difficult to remove at times. Now you can get rid of it uh, in a number of different ways. First of all, you can sandblast this off. That'll leave more of a paintable surface. You can also uh, do it by grinding, which is very labor intensive and doesn't provide a very uniform surface. So what we're gonna be doing is using one of the oldest tricks in the book, and that is with a, an acid solution, in this case, vinegar. So I'm gonna be using, uh, in my case, it's gonna be a 30% vinegar concentrate. So I'm gonna dilute this, about two cups of this, into about a gallon of water. Now I've got a just a standard plastic container that is sized closely to this plate so that uh, I can, so that the acid won't eat through anything. And then for the bottom of it, I got a couple of a piece of plastic tubing that we're gonna set underneath this plate to keep it up elevated just a little bit so that the acid solution can get around to the bottom of the plate as well and I'll show you how easy it is to do this it just takes uh, a little patience because you had to leave it in here for a few hours but when we come back you'll see just how easily that mill scale will remove Okay, so this has been sitting in the acidic solution now for about three hours. And if we zoom in here a little bit, you can really start to see how that uh, acidic solution is starting to pop that mill scale off there. So the majority of this should wipe off now. There might be a couple of spots that we'll need to let it sit in the solution for a little while longer. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to wipe this down. Uh, mill scale off the best I can and then we're going to flip it over wipe the other side down and probably let it sit in there for another hour or so so that we can ensure that we get it all before we get it out for its final rinse and then really start to clean on this plate. So when I first wiped off the top side, it came off pretty well, but you, as you can see, the bottom side here, uh, that mill scale is really still holding on there pretty good. So I added a little bit more vinegar to the solution, and I'm probably going to end up letting this sit for another few hours so that we can make sure that we get all of this mill scale to pop off there. Uh, I may have had the solution just a slightly too diluted, 
So by adding a little bit more, that ought to speed up the process just a little bit. Okay, so I've let this sit for a few more hours just to make sure that it will come off cleanly. So we'll give it a wipe down here. And it looks like all of that mill scale is now releasing quite well. You can see that just by wiping it down, we're down to pretty smooth metal now, the end of the, end of the clean metal. So let me get this out. I'm going to get it rinsed off, and then we'll go on to the next step. Now that we have the majority of the mill scale off of that plate, we're going to switch over to the DeWalt cordless grinders. And the first thing we're going to do is use the uh, wire wheel. And that's going to get rid of any little residue of mill scale that might be left on the plate. Once we've done that, we're going to switch over to this disc. This is the Clean & Strip XT Pro disc from 3M. This is a fantastic disc for cleaning up. Uh, this will actually eat through mill scale without having to prep it in a vinegar solution first. Though it's a little time consuming and it's a little hard on the disc. So it's better if to do it and set it in a solution like we have to get the majority of that mill scale off of there. And then this disc will leave a really ultra fine finish. These are designed to eat through rust, to eat through mill scale and paint and primer and stuff like that. These are fantastic discs. Uh, that uh, I've been using for the last few years now, and I really like these. I'll leave links down below to, to these discs. These are a little on the pricey side, but they are definitely worth it. Now that I've got this plate cleaned up, uh, I've got it rinsed, and dry it off, you'll notice that there is a slight buildup of surface rust on this. Now, the way to prevent this, if, if you're only cleaning to this point and you're not gonna be doing anything further like I am, I didn't worry about it in my case because I knew I was gonna be using the grinders on it, then what you'll wanna do is come directly out of your vinegar solution straight into another container that has a baking soda water solution. And that baking soda uh, dissolved into water will neutralize the acid effect and so when you pull it out to clean it up you'll you'll eliminate this surface rust or the vast majority of it anyway but because i knew i was going to go further uh, i didn't worry about it with mine you can see that there's still a little bit of residue on here from the mill scale that we'll be able to get off so first we'll go over it with the wire brush and then we'll try it with the cleaning strip disc
So I brought in another plate to contrast the difference between the two now that we finished this steel. So we went from the hard mill scale on this one, going through the vinegar bath, wire, wire brush, and then the 3M uh, Clean and Strip Pro Disc. And what we've done is we've taken this down to a very, very smooth and uniform finish. Now there are other ways to get this mill scale off. You can use blasting method, uh, using sandblasting. You can do uh, grinding disc, or you can do flap wheels or sanding disc. But all those processes will eat into the underlying metal. And this way, we have prevented that. So now I could actually take this, uh, clean it up with soap and water, stick it in the oven to get it heated, and then we could finish this or cure it with oil in order to use this as a cooking surface. So if I wanted to make a, a griddle out of this one for the top of the stovetop, then it would definitely work for that. And that that curing process would cure the steel from, from rusting over. So this is how to make a really nice finish on steel if you are trying to avoid getting into the underlying metal. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.